Good morning, I'm Christina Salva. And I'm John Gregory. A lot to talk about this morning. A lot of shopping that will be going on this weekend. Uh, we'll get to all that. The airports are going to be busy, Kimmy. Oh, yeah. And everybody's bundling up. I know, it is so cold. Well, the Thomas Fire in Ventura and Santa Barbara counties is now the largest wildfire ever recorded in California history. Cal Fire says the blaze has burned 273,400 acres. That's about 150 acres larger than the previous record holder, the 2003 Cedar Fire in San Diego County. Official records started to be kept in 1932. The Thomas Fire has destroyed more than 1,000 homes and structures. It's now 65% contained, so there's still more acreage to burn. And that was Lindsay Davis reporting for us. The Miss America organization now says it suspended CEO Sam Haskell and fired the lead writer for the telecast. But it said the board has full confidence in the leadership team. Up next, with the new year comes new laws. In 2018, recreational marijuana will be legal here in California. But what changes will you see in Los Angeles? Hey, Kimmy, thanks. Well, on January 1st, recreational use of marijuana will become legal here in California. But in Los Angeles, don't expect big changes, at least not right away. As Eyewitness News reporter Miriam Hernandez explains, it will be weeks before marijuana's business, the marijuana business will have licenses that they need to start selling marijuana. Of course, other states are doing it and it seems to be working reasonably. You don't, you don't hear any major problems. Right, we're not hearing about any big issues so far, which is good to hear. Uh, some very chilly temperatures, meanwhile, to start the day on this first weekend of winter. Yeah. Like, it looked like it flared out and the light caught it. That's what it, I saw. It, was just, it, it looked like a big lit up balloon. Cloud. Yeah, so you can understand why people would be worried. Yeah, it looked like <laughs> something out of the ocean or something. Yeah. I don't know. A little creature. But and I guess Elon Musk joked about it, some kind of nuclear yeah. North Korea thing, which isn't really that funny, no. Elon. Oh, not funny at all. I mean, it is now, but it wasn't at the time. No. Did you guys see it? <laughs> yeah. You saw it? Yeah. I missed it. I really wish I would have seen it. That's nice and cozy. I, I do like if you don't the have idea. To leave, if you don't have to leave bed, it's great. Yeah, if you get to stay <laughs> if in you the have to cabin, get up. then you're good. It's not so cozy. <laughs> slippers and a fire going. It's great. <laughs> and five snuggies wrapped all around you. <laughs> then you're good. Thanks, Kimmy. Uh, he's a rapping ex-Marine with a message of hope. Ahead, we salute a singer who is using his musical talents as a form of therapy for himself and for fellow combat veterans. Well, for many veterans, returning home also means dealing with the debilitating effects of PTSD. One local former Marine turned to music to help him and others cope. Yeah, ABC7 salutes Elliot McKenzie. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Haskell brings us his story. ABC7 Eyewitness News. The amazing toll that war takes. Sometimes. And it's good to see he has that outlet. Yeah. Uh, more guys need it, it sounds like. Exactly. Well, President Trump signs the Republican tax overhaul bill into law before jetting off to his resort in Florida for Christmas break. That story ahead at 6.30. And it is supposedly the busiest day of the year at LAX. Also ahead, we're live at the airport to find out how those travelers are coping. Good morning, I'm Christina Salvo. And I'm John Gregory. A couple places you don't want to be today, the airport LAX and a shopping those. mall maybe. because. There are going to be Russian some real store. real crowds out there. If you can avoid oh, it, do maybe. so. And it's going to be cold, too, at least in the early morning. Yeah, but you want to head out early because you want to get the parking spot at the mall and you want to make sure you avoid all that traffic. But, you know, it is chilly. Okay, Kimmy, thanks. Well, take a deep breath if you're heading to the airport. Uh, the last-minute rush to get out of town or into town, it's about to get even tougher. Today will be the busiest travel day of the holiday season at LAX, where they are expecting to break some records. And already this morning, we are seeing some congestion. Jade Hernandez is live at LAX with a closer look at how things are going so far. And already congestion, Jade? Jade, yeah, some good advice there. Well, after a busy week in Washington, President Trump is now in Florida on his 10-day vacation. Before leaving the Capitol, he signed the new trillion-dollar tax bill into law. ABC's Kenneth Moten has the latest from Washington, D.C. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell mocking former White House advisor Steve Bannon for backing losing Republican candidate Roy Moore in this month's Alabama Senate race. Oh, it's hard to ignore. Bannon has returned to the right-wing Breitbart News Agency and has been openly seeking other GOP candidates who, like Moore, would support toppling McConnell as the Republican majority leader. A shocking twist in the case of a former sheriff's deputy who was cleared in a man's death. He's now been charged with his murder. Investigators say he and the victim were involved in a love triangle with the same woman. Oscar Rodriguez appeared in court Friday afternoon. He did not enter a plea and bail was set at a million dollars. He's accused of killing Luis Carlos Moren Jr. in January of 2014. Rodriguez claimed he shot Moren while trying to arrest him on two outstanding warrants. 
But prosecutors say he gunned Marin down in a jealous rage because the two men were in a relationship with the same woman. That woman is now facing a charge of accessory to murder. Well, still ahead, help for the homeless in Orange County. Yeah, when Eyewitness News comes back, how workers are trying to get them off a river trail and into shelter. Well, as Anaheim City leaders work to clear homelessness camps from the Santa Ana Riverbed, they're launching a huge effort to help the hundreds of homeless people who are being forced to move. Yeah, the goal is to get people back on their feet, obviously, while preventing them from setting up camps again. Orange County reporter Greg Lee is in Anaheim with more for us. News. What we've seen with the hepatitis outbreak, it's not a real viable long-term option exactly. to have people living like that. Uh, your Christmas week weather with meteorologist Kimmy Evans is up next. Look at this. The sunrise shots just get more spectacular.